Hi there, Cosm family. My name is Elia in this incarnation. Well, something that I've been repeating in the last videos is that Mercury in Aries is reactivating the mathematical degree of the eclipse that is making this conjunction with Chiron, which is perfected on May 6th. I think that I said 5th, but I don't get along with the calendar, so the, the people <laughs> who saw previous videos could uh, realize this. But, um, well, this is being intensified by the moon going through areas, and, you know, this fourth, uh, fifth, and part of the sixth, too, uh, here in Argentina until the afternoon. And the moon is talking about our emotions, you know, the, the way we are connecting with emotions. And the moon in areas could give us a, a lot of impulse to take action, to make decisions, to be active, but also could reactivate inner battles, <laughs> you know, and, and we could experiment anger, because we have to understand that uh, this last conjunction that Mercury in Aries is doing with Chiron is the third one. We have we had one in March, then other one uh, when Mercury was retrograde, and now the last one uh, with Mercury direct. Uh, so it, it, this conjunction is showing us the, the door of an initiation that was opened in the eclipse areas that I wanted to remind you that it is not a one day of the eclipse, it is a cycle that we are experimenting of six months. And these initiations could be challenging for the most unconditioned parts of ourselves because the fear, the wound, the, the insecurity could present, could still present resistances, even though we've been processing this since March. Um, but, uh, you know, wounds <laughs> take time and, and it is not about, you know, certain events we are... Uh, dealing with parts of ourselves that re requires a process and um, require so in the configuration of that eclipse mars which is the regent which was the regent was in pisces by that moment and created this sextile with the conjunction of uh, jupiter and uranus in taurus which was saying to us that uh, crossing this cycle it was it is very linked with uh, taking action following the intuitive voice of the soul to make changes that are taking us out of a known place. Let's not call it comfort zone because I don't think it is very comfortable. <laughs> Many times it is comfortable, but life it starts to um, turn off, you know, when we are talking about doors. So um, these changes were in order to connect with new forms of growth in our experience. But those forms of growth were chosen by Uranus, <laughs> were determined by the cosmos and the soul. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that not always the ego agree <laughs> with those ways. So uh, in addition to these aspects that Mercury and Aries are doing today, uh, the stellium of the new moon in Taurus that we are uh, moving towards uh, you know, with all the, the celestial bodies that we have there right now, are uh, marking the, the moment where we have to put the body, uh, you know, in those opportunities, we have to materialize them, and it could present new revelations about that, you know, about things that were linked with the eclipse that we didn't expect, and that could also, could, you know, could, they could bring a, a lot of uh, discomfort and uncertainty. So the body is going to set the steps along the way, is going to indicate us how we can descend the revolutionary changes and evolutionary changes um, to the material reality. But they require to face and to transcend aspects of the ego that they are not trusting in the, in the path, they are not trusting in the divine purpose or trusting in the resources even of the soul. Because many of us, you know, we've been training and acquiring these resources many incarnations before, you know, they are awakening or it is time to put them in practice, but uh, we, we have been acquiring this before. Uh, we, we brought this from other experiences. So um, this is the moment where the human seeds uh, have to sprout with, with a strength and to make them visible, you know, outside the earth and, and to expand their own consciousness in order to extend this to everything that surrounds us. So we are the seeds of 
the revolution of the consciousness. And that's why we are transiting all these processes that are inviting us to a higher love, you know, to elevate ourselves uh, above our above the, the limits of the desires of our own ego, to understand that desires of the soul will take form because Venus is participating of this uh, new moon, but in ways that we cannot control. Because what is presenting along the way, it is the, the right lesson that helps us to open us the heart, the heart. And yeah, in occasions that could be painful. And with the presence of Chiron, this could be painful too. But it is so because, because of the great attachment uh, that many times we generate to the expectations of how the, the path should be, how the reality should be. Um, but, you know, we have to know that that human part that is that could resist the experience is simply having fear and consciousness is to embrace, is to hug that part of ourselves and remind and remind that part that uh, it is safe. It is safe by walking uh, through the, the pulse that the earth and the soul through the body is marking. So, um, well... I am going to end the video here. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.